Once again, there's an increase in concern about food security. Just like back in World War II, Powell River is looking into allowing residents to keep more chickens in their yards. The current lockdown has also led to some food shortages and restrictions, even if on a smaller scale than were experienced during the war. In response, many people once again have turned their attention to gardening. Just like in the war, spending time in your garden is regarded as doing your part, but this time in a social distancing effort. It's quite likely that gardens will be as satisfying for their bounty of nutritious fresh foods as they were back in 1944. Finally, some rain. We went about two weeks without rain and it's been raining for about two days not flooding mind you but nice regular rain and the garden is looking great when it slacks off i'll show you what it looks like hello this is terry with blade outdoors and welcome to my sixth video of my survival garden challenge series and I'm gonna go out between showers and show you what the garden looks like. It's looking great. And uh, right now it's not raining. So I'm trying to get this done between showers today. So uh, let's see if we can get that done. I'll show you what it looks like. Let's go in and take a look. Okay, my corn, it's looking pretty good. I still got critters coming out, but uh, I'm trying to manage it. I'm losing that battle, but what can I say? My bush beans look fantastic. My purple hole peas are great. Hey, my squash, summer squash is looking really good. I got to clean this up. Uh, I got some things coming up. I think my cabbage is actually coming up now. Let's go back in the back here for I planted peppers out here and guess what the rain really helped out see if you can see this my peppers are coming up now which is cool spinach back here lettuce here my cucumbers and melons look great roma tomatoes beef steak looks fine I did dig this up as you saw in the last video and I put two rows of okra here um, and they're not coming up as of yet. Fingers crossed that they'll come up. And right here is where I'm gonna plant uh, the other beef steak tomatoes that I've got in my little baby seed nursery. And here is my two other beds. I got my onions here. Um, they look pretty pathetic and my carrots pretty pathetic something's getting in there rooting it undoubtedly i've got a mouse problem so um and i'm still working on that looks like it's raining again i think i'll go back in and on the way i will show you how my seed nursery is going okay here's my little seed nursery i made tomatoes look great they're coming up they're getting big and my peppers are coming up too. That's worked really well. So that's the status of the garden right now. I gotta have this video out in a few days. Uh, the rain is supposed to stop tomorrow and uh, we're supposed to have a pretty weekend. And I'll probably go out and transplant those tomatoes and uh, maybe even put those peppers in. I'm not sure exactly how much I'm gonna get done. This might be a very short video but at least you got a status of what the garden looks like. And overall, I think it's looking great. The rain 
was really a blessing from God to get those plants that hit it at a really great time, especially after two weeks of no rain and me just watering every day with my simulated creek water. So I'm not sure exactly what's gonna be in the rest of the video. So just stick around and we'll see what we come up with. going to do it for this video uh, thank goodness I finally got some rain a few days ago I was able to go out and mulch some uh, plants and uh, also was able to go out and plant those uh, bell peppers and also those tomatoes out in my garden which was nice to do so uh, other than that I think everything is going well I haven't caught uh, any rodents yet but then again, they are not being out there doing any damage either. So uh, I'm going to still be vigilant and still set some traps out. And if I catch one, we'll see. And um, we'll just see how it goes. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.